Hi guys, thank you so much for stopping in. I greatly appreciate it. Welcome to Spruce Up Interior, I'm Dom. If you haven't already, please be sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram at Spruce Up Interior. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys where to start decorating. I know that some people may find it hard to figure out where they're trying to go, where they're trying to lean to, what type of style is their style. But uh, this hopefully should give you some help and get you started. So without any further ado, let's just jump right on in. The first thing um, when you're trying to start decorating your home, you definitely want to look for inspiration. Um, and usually inspiration is one of the easiest things, the cost effective things that you can do. Um, you, you can find inspiration outside, you can find inspiration inside, you find inspiration flipping or flip through a magazine. You can find inspiration going through social media. You can look anywhere and you can find it. Um, you definitely want to be able to figure out what your what your sense of style is. So uh, whether you're contemporary, traditional, industrial, you know, what style draws you uh, to that space or to this um, area in your home. Think about the mood that you want to have when you walk into your home. Do you want it to be peaceful and tranquil? Do you want it to be bold and, um, you know, vivid? Do you want it to be inspirational and creative? You know, what is it that you want when you walk into uh, this one particular spot in your home? You know, map it out and figure it out from there. So that's one. Number two. Uh, you want to start with anchor pieces. Um, anchor pieces are um, pieces of furniture that are, of course, larger. That's going to um, definitely make a statement into the room. So by you having the, you know, carpet or whether you have a desk, you have a chair, um, you definitely want to buy those pieces first because those pieces will be able to determine what your style is. So, of course, when you're walking into your home or you're, you have a guest walking into your home, um, you want them to be able to determine, you know, what kind of style is this. And those will be able to, you know, help them. Um, and then, you know, also with that being said, I'm going to just steer off a little bit to the, to the left. Do not be afraid to actually mix your styles. Mixing styles are totally okay. Mixing your design aesthetic is totally okay. Um, I'm personally mid-century modern, so I love um, the 60s, 50s, 60s, and 70s vibe. Um, I really like that, that look. Um, it reflects in my home. Um, but also, I'm, I'm modern. I like clean lines. So if you're Scandinavian, if you're uh, industrial, you can definitely mix them. Number three. Crucial, crucial thing. I used to underestimate this a long time ago when I was younger, but lighting. Um, I know that when I first hang it up in the morning, I definitely open up my blinds, open up my curtains. I want all the natural light to come pouring into my home um, because nothing um, for me personally, I like it light and bright in my house. Um, I love adequate lighting. I kind of want like a lofty, open feel um, when you come into my home as well. So definitely make sure that you, you know, choose your lighting correctly and properly. Whether you have overhead lights that are glamorous, which will also play into your, your um, aesthetic, whether it's industrial, whether it's Scandinavian, mid-century, transitional, traditional, um, the light will play an important important part of your space. So it definitely just will help keep your aesthetic all cohesive. Don't underestimate lamps. Don't underestimate lamps. Don't underestimate lamps. Um, I personally have a lamp in every room. Uh, number four, I would say, is your paint. Um, you know, that kind of goes alongside with number one with looking for inspiration. Sometimes when you look for inspiration, you may choose a color first and what you like. But I would say definitely choose your paint as you're going along once you have your style. Um, you kind of want to choose your, your paint color um, because definitely with the paint and your light, that's going to go hand in hand. You have um, a really nice deep color in your room and you have the wrong lighting. It can feel very cocoonish, very closed up. You have the right color 
um, in that same color family, the eye move up is one of those things that can just transform a room. It definitely will nail the mood or the feel of the room that you want it to be. And then number five, I would say is shop local. Um, yes, of course, you have your big box stores or your bigger stores that are physical locations, but shop local. Um, I would say go to stores that are in your area because they carry unique pieces, pieces that you wouldn't find in these big box stores. Um, and also you're supporting a small business. So those were the five tips on where to start when decorating. I greatly appreciate you guys stopping by. I just, you guys are just awesome. I appreciate the views. Keep watching. If you haven't already, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me some things that you do that you, um, when you start decorating your space. And until next time, guys, bye.